Stuffer. Stuffer Olympics. Um, he asked me how I did my plane crash in 3ds Max. I promised him that I would show him. Of course, I cannot show everything because it's just too much work and I don't have so much time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you my scene setup. You know, a very simple scene setup and just I'm gonna show you the basic steps, what I did, and you can do it, you know, it's not difficult. So sorry that I cannot show everything. Now let's move on. This is the video. Crashing. So this is a simplified scene. So I'm going to first turn off okay. here's the plane I just animated it I didn't animate it it's just it's following a path with a uh, constraint path constraint I know it's very crappy but good enough to show you so just animate your plane crashing down keyframe. I didn't use any any dynamics. Now, the destruction. As you can see, the box is normal. If you scroll, you will see it start to change. What I did in my original video, I just put a noise on it, increased the segments of the geometry, and I just played with noise look for a cool uh, looking shape and what is very important is that you have you need two planes one is normal and one is destroyed and you just animate the opacity you can find it in the object properties this one so you just go to a frame like this one is 26 before it impacts you go to object, object properties and you animate the visibility so if I choose my normal one, it's visible, 26, 27 is not visible anymore, I put it on 0. And you do it, you do the same thing for the destroyed one. Frame 27, you turn up the opacity to 1, 26, you put it at 0. So 1 disappears and 1 appears. Same thing with the wing, you know. It's looking uh, transparent, but I don't know what it is. Just a mistake, but I don't know. No, I don't know why. But you do the same thing with the wing. You link it to the to the plane. You have two kind of wings. One is normal. One is destroyed. And you just animate the opacity. You see, it's it's turning on here. And what I also did in, in my original video, the wing will uh, be detached from the geometry so when it hits 27 I just animated it you know flying away there is no dynamics it's just purely keyframe animation um, the next thing I did is setting up my particle system using particle flow I have a deflector I have um, gravity wind drag also on this side and I have some debris like grass and stones dirt you know so here's my particle flow very simple I have a shockwave and debris don't mind this uh, I did a mistake you know you can easily put it in here um, birth I set it when the plane starts hitting the floor it should be 27 this one as well maybe even 
even sooner. 26. All right. Mm, something's wrong. Okay. So, so I put my birth on 27 for the shockwave and for the debris as well. And um, let's move on. I have a force. Gravity would do good for the shockwave and a drag. Same for the debris, you know. What I did is uh, I copied. Um, these elements like drag, gravity, and uh, wind, I clone them so that I can control the, deb the particle debris for, you know, shock wave and the debris separately. Um, yeah, this is it. You know, I have a deflector so that it collides with the floor it's this one and I set it to collide four times and then stop same for the debris um, collision uh, three times and it gets down. the other thing what I did for uh, for this debris is that I animated the gravity um, as you can see I think it's this one No, it's this one. If you look here, I have the gravity, which is negative. The particles will go up. And then I animated it that the force gets much stronger and the particles will hit the floor. For the shock wave, I have it set to random horizontal. horizontal. I have a random rotation, shape instance, debris, and grass. That's this one. I group them. Check group members. Play with the scale and variation. Um, I also have a delete, but I'm not using it. You know, you want your particles to live as long as the clip. Same for the for the upward debris. Um, what else? I used fume effects for um, the smoke. Here it is. So let me make a camera. Alright. Go to perspective. I'm going to turn off um, fume. Can I do that? Audience. Alright, so. What I did is I just put a container over the whole area of my animation. I used a particle source which you can find under here. Fume. Oops. Fume. Particle source. In the particle source, you will choose your particle flow. Go to Fume. Object source. Select the particle source. 
you know, play with the radius of the particles. If I turn it on, you should be able to see. Yeah, there it is, the orange circles. You can play with the, with the radius. Um, if I go to my camera, you know, simulate. I only simulated um, smoke. Here, I didn't use fuel, just smoke. Um, you know, there is a lot of tutorials on how to set up uh, your smoke, so check it out. And I just uh, simulated it. Something is wrong. Oh yeah, active. There it is. You know, I just simulated the smoke. I try to find a, um, a good solution playing with the spacing the lower you go the more high resolution you will get I used a um, a matte object for the for the plane and the wings so that I have an alpha so that I could composite it I don't know if you know about it if you don't you know I can show you so that's basically it I'm sorry again if I cannot show you everything but I hope this will help thank you